have you always lived here in Rome? All my life. All your life. Um, well, tell me a little bit. Do you know how your family ended up here in Rome? I'm not really sure. I uh, originally from Chattooga County, but um, I do know that my dad and mom moved to Rome in the 40s. Okay. So. All right. I actually think it's because he's a farmer and he went to work for Berry College, so. All right. Okay. All right. Um, for for me personally, um, I currently live in a, a ranch-style home that's brick. Um, would you mind sharing a little bit about uh, what type of home you live in? I currently live in a home that was built in the 1800s. It's a two-story. Uh, we bought the house 20-plus years ago and renovated quite a bit of it, uh, added some... We extended the house footprint and made it larger. Um, it's a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, uh, on seven-and-a-half acres. Okay. So, wow. But um, still has some of the original features of the home. Uh, inside, it still has the original mantles. It has two fireplaces. Uh, some of the rooms that were original have uh, one by ten tongue and groove planking that is basically the wall and the ceiling, and we saved all of that. A uh, portion of the house had hard pine floors that we. I don't know what else I can tell you now. Okay. It sounds like it's got a lot of character for sure. Yeah, even stoners don't. <laughs> Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> well, uh, since you told me a little bit about your home, um, do you do you have rooftop solar for your home? I do not, but I have at a previous residence. Oh, okay. Um, you're the first one that I've ran into that has any experience with rooftop solar, so that's that's kind of neat. Um, well, would you mind telling me why you don't have rooftop solar? Um, on this home, and was this a decision that you personally made, or was that a decision that was made for you? Uh, it was a personal decision that I made. It all comes down to uh, basically the initial expense. Uh, I think rooftop solar is very effective and can be a money saver over the long haul. Okay. And, I, and I like the idea of renewable energy. Okay. Um, and you said that, you know, that you are a, a homeowner. Um, um, so if you had the option to put rooftop solar on your home, um, tell me why or why you wouldn't. If I had the opportunity, I probably would. Um, my previous experience in 1985, um, I bought a new home and the builder was putting solar on them, but you had the option to take it or not take it. I took it because there was a federal uh, Department of Energy tax credit that went along with it. So, uh, you know, if there was some incentive from a tax-saving point of view, I definitely would consider it. Okay. All right. All right. Well, now we're going to kind of shift gears a little bit. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, rooftop solar adoption in general. So the first thing is here's a map of the United States. Um, and what I would like for you to do is with this pen here, um, where do you think that people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? If you could just kind of mark that however you would just, see fit there. Just X. That'll be fine. I could just draw a line through all of them. So, uh, why do you think people here have the most sol solar rooftop, or have the most solar on their rooftop? Generally speaking, whether or not it's effective or not has to do with, with how much direct and indirect sun you have and that kind of thing. I know that uh, previous experience, um, mine was uh, much, much more effective in the summertime because the sun was more overhead than at a a different um, a different lower path across the sky. 
So I'm assuming that there's adequate um, sunshine days for all of the ones that I've noted. Okay. And the percentage of rainy days and cloudy days and that kind of thing. Gotcha. None of these really get a whole, whole lot of snow, do they? <laughs> no. Believe it or not, my daughter lived in Colorado for 18 years. Uh-huh. And if you look at the climate, they have as many sunny days as Georgia. Oh, wow. And even though they're in a much colder climate, one of the time they, they have um, the average temperature is almost the same as Georgia. Okay. So. All right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to hand you this one right here. So we're going to talk about um, Georgia. And in what community in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? And if you could just kind of mark that there as well. I would think probably along the coast. I would just generally say mostly up across the center of the state at least. Yeah, that'll be fine. However you want to do it. That's including all of them. Okay. All right. Um, what do you think uh, makes these people different from the people here in Rome? I know on here, you know, you really didn't select Ford County, but so what do you think, um, or I guess first, um, you know, what do you think makes these people different from people here in Floyd County? Well, I think Floyd County is a, possibly a lot has to do with the terrain. Mm -hmm. uh, southern part of Georgia is flatter. You would have to assume that uh, I know the angle of the sun has a lot to do with the efficiency and that kind of thing. So I would think they would have a better chance of more exposure in this little bit hotter climate. Okay. All righty. Um, and kind of our last question here. Uh, what about your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? I would say that I have some. I can't name them just right off the bat. but Okay. I have friends that have similar opinions that I do. Okay. Well, why do you think they do or they don't have solar energy? I would generally say um, they do because I think there's money to be saved long term mm -hmm. uh, you know it may not be like a five year payout kind of thing but um, you know as I said my own experience in the summertime you know when I had solar one of the biggest things that it did was heated my hot water and I had two daughters oh wow <laughs> right right there and also I like my air conditioning but I typically found that my uh, power bill in the summertime was less than my neighbors that, and sometimes it was just uh, uh, one child or fewer child, or just adults mm -hmm. in the house. So. But I, I think most people, I mean, at my age, if it was very expensive, I'd be very hesitant to do a large cash outlay to install solar. But something, let's say, the payback's 25 years to younger person with a more longevity <laughs> expected than myself, you know, I think that would be of interest to them. 